Solana continues on its push towards the upside up towards our target all the way up here and it has just done something very exciting which means that we could be making this move potentially sooner than you think. Just draw on the chart for you something else that has just appeared here and we can see bringing this line across here we can see that we have been putting in these higher highs and we have in fact managed to break above this key line where you've got these higher highs coming in each time and that shows to us that we are looking extremely strong and there's a lot of people coming into the market to buy at the moment. We've now come back down, we take a drop and we can see these wicks coming in over here showing that each time we are finding more and more strength at these higher levels, currently sitting around $242. And if we maintain ourselves above this green line here, which is currently sitting around the $240 mark, then we should be continuing to move in an upwards direction. But one thing we should be paying attention to, and every time we do see these aggressive moves, we should always be cautious about jumping in and entering the market, is where we see where we're looking kind of overbought. If we see in the past, now also we can see that there is uh, this high on the RSI here, which is actually above uh, this high over here, so this point at 1 is much higher than the point at 2, we can see that actually if we look to the price chart, this point down here, which is 1, compared to this one, is in fact much lower down, which is showing us that we have a bearish divergence. Okay, so that does indicate potentially that we could be due a turnaround, but not immediately necessarily. We are obviously showing a lot of strengths and we are continuing to push to a higher level. If we look on a shorter time frame then. Okay guys, so as we look on the 15 minute as we look on the 15 minute chart guys, we can see we had these big moves up and every time we have these big moves up, we find a bit of consolidation. We potentially might take a little bit of a drop before we push on and have our next consolidation phase at the moment. We did have a push to the upside, finding a high at $250. We then are sort of consolidating here. And as I mentioned, guys, the $240 mark is what we need to maintain ourselves above, which is sort of just under these levels here and where we're finding good levels of support. And if we are able to do that, then we will be pushing and making a new highs very shortly. But guys, a few weeks ago, I put in this price target just where we got this green line here, all the way up at $273. But this is still a very much in play, and even when we do take dips to the downside, it doesn't actually mean that we're going to come out of that pattern, and we're still building towards it. So even when we came up here, we did have a bit of retest. When you see these retests, guys, you should look at them potentially as opportunities to buy in. Now, personally, I don't tend to buy when we've just had pumps like this. If we then take consolidation and we drop down again, that's when I might be looking to load up. So personally right now I'll be holding, potentially looking to take some profits if we continue to push towards these levels. But ultimately Solana looking very good and should be looking quite bullish as we enter the weekend, especially with Bitcoin and the rest of the cryptocurrency market looking to make a swift recovery. Thanks very much for watching guys. Please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.